My first piece of advice uh, would be to project forward, uh, to find out what the future holds for us and establish uh, what the strategic objectives of this country are over the next 10 to 15 years. Uh, secondly, I would want uh, the government to consult widely, not just within the defence and security uh, uh, community, but widely within society about what sort of armed forces, what level of security they want. And I think thirdly, I would advise them to have a root and branch review of the Ministry of Defence uh, and also the procurement process. Um, remember, defence of the realm is the primary responsibility of the government. I stress, primary i.e. above all others. Uh, much as the debates are about spending, taxation, uh, welfare, all of those things, social benefits, the primary responsibility of government is defence of the realm. So we need to get it right. Secondly, I think um, I would urge them to take a global view uh, I am the last person to advocate pulling up some notional drawbridge um, across the streets of Dover and hunkering down. That isn't on in the global world. And I think Britain's position, both by history and by present circumstances, and indeed, as we spoke, projected into the future, uh, means that Britain has a global role. And certainly, for me, the proof of that is when you go outside of these shores. In other countries, people are very interested indeed on the position Britain takes to this or that strategic problem. So that's, I think, uh, my second point. And my third, which flows from the first two, means we need capable, efficient, well-equipped, well-housed, adequately paid armed forces. And we're very lucky to have the armed forces we have. And um, uh, I think perhaps uh, a clearer recognition of what is involved uh, would be hugely appreciated. First, concentrate and focus on Britain's position on the world stage, those discretionary aspects, understand what is the extent of the military lever in putting you where you want to be, and don't necessarily take what has gone before as an absolute. So a real deep analysis of that. Second, out of that, and an absolute must, develop a balanced financial program. In other words, remove the bow wave in the equipment program and ensure that our aspirations are affordable and they're fully funded. Thirdly, recognize industry as a strategic part of this. The nature of the market in this country, the nature of the globalized companies concerned, means you can't take for granted that you'll have an indigenous defense manufacturing capability here in the way perhaps we did when we did options for change in 89-90. So they'd be my three pieces of advice.